The Darnley Jewel is full of iconography. It's either known as the Darnley Jewel, which is what we call it, or the Lennox Jewel because of Matthew Lennox. Matthew Lennox was the Earl of Lennox and Lady Margaret Douglas became the Countess of Lennox. Their eldest surviving son was Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley, who was the second husband of Mary Queen of Scots. The jewel itself is heart-shaped and the heart was the symbol of the Douglas family. One of Margaret's ancestors was deputed to carry the heart of Robert the Bruce to the Holy Land. This is where the device of the heart and the association with the Douglas family comes from. The little device in the centre, the winged heart, if you open that up, you see a skull and crossbones. So that probably indicates that the piece was like a memento mori or a commemoration of someone's death, in this case, Matthew Lennox's death. The figures uh, represented in white enamel are hope, faith, victory and truth, showing that the, the jewel represents the sort of true story of the Lennox family. And then there's an inscription in Old Scots around the edge of the jewel. If we open it up and see what's inside, again, there are a number of different signs and symbols. And these are probably the most hidden and difficult to interpret symbols because they wouldn't have been obvious to um, somebody who just looked at it. These probably represent the sort of, again, the trials and tribulations of both the Lennox and the Douglas families. So the back of the jewel also shows a number of emblems and devices decorated in enamel. We can see a salamander, which is the device of the Douglas family. A phoenix rising out of the flame, showing the trials and tribulations they went through. And there is also a pelican in her piety, and this is when a pelican pierces her breast and her young feed from the blood that drips from the breast. And this shows maternal love. We can see a rather strange figure, it's a figure of a man lying on his back and out of his loins grows a flower and the flower represents Darnley's son who was James VI of Scotland and the future James I of Great Britain.